guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing the classic French using the reverse method so I've already applied my forms I've put on my thin clear base and I've done a rough filing into shape we're going for the coffin shape for this set so for this set I'm using shades of shimmer cover up for the cuticle bead and um, Lily Whites for the white. As some of you probably know, I used to be a brand ambassador for Shades of Shimmer. Um, sadly, they are cutting out their colour range and Hopefully, we'll still be providing the basic core system as in like the monomers and the cover powders and the clears. Um, but there's no more colours. They're going to be selling out their entire range. It's all on sale now. So if you want to head on over and check it out, it is shadesofshimmer.co.uk this middle nail I didn't pick up a big enough bead so after correcting the shape on this part I'm gonna go in and add in a couple more beads until I'm perfectly happy with how the shape is <laughs> I wasn't quite happy with how the bead was, uh, what's the word, like full at the top. Um, so I'm adding in one more to the left and one more to the right just to widen out just at the cuticle just a little bit more. just got to check every time when I do one I want to make sure that it's like perfect on the side so am I getting a little bit closer and there I come in with my last bead for this uh, cute little bead just to make sure it's it's as good now you want to make sure as well when you're doing all this try and be as tidy as you can with the brush like let your brush do the work for you so you don't have to mess around with filing for three hours afterwards <laughs> So after doing all 10 fingers you want to come back in and you want to use a 180 grit file for this um, reason being why I say 180 is because the finer the grit the smoother the actual transition will be from color to color of your acrylic um, if you use a really harsh grit you're gonna put them harsh little gritty lines into what you're filing and you might find that when you apply your white that it just slightly run in and it blows it ever so slightly so to prevent it use a 180 and just crisping them up so you're nice nice and crispy lines nice crisp walls ready to apply your white now when I was working with the white today with this set oh my god it was so hot in my room my humidity is like in the 70s. I can't even get lashes to stay on this week. It is just a nightmare. The humidity is through the roof here right now. I mean, <laughs> rainy leaves, lucky us there. So as long as you've got a nice crispy line with your cover for your cuticle area, your free edge, it doesn't really matter how sloppy you are with it. Um, just make sure that you've got it in all the places that you need it to be. Um, I don't really waste any time trying to be neat and tidy going around it because I'm just gonna file it with an electric file after to bring through them really clear lines, which you'll see just after this clip. So keep watching. 
coming in with my electric file where this bit that I'm using is a medium safety barrel I believe um, but it's an old one it's one that I specifically it's one that I specifically keep just for this kind of stuff so it's, it's only ever used for like filing in blocking designs or stuff like this coming in with some glitter and I'm just going to do glitter on the pointer finger and the ring finger and it's just going to be like an ever so slight little glitter trail just to add just a little bit of a kick to a classic fringe I guess. <laughs>
leave the glitter nails to dry properly while I begin to cap. Um, coming in with a clear to make sure that I have the apex in the right place and my structure is sound. And then after doing all 10 nails like this, then I'll come in and I'll do my filing and make sure everything's nice and crisp and ready for top coat. <laughs> If you have any questions or you have any requests just pop them below and um, if you need to contact me you can do through my email or you can catch me on Facebook and um, all my social links are below as well um, thank you again for joining me for my video number two <laughs> um, um, if you haven't already, subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!